five months since the federal government put out a hazard alert warning that the blockbuster hair smoothing treatment Brazilian blowout contains liquid formaldehyde. So we wanted to know if this information has trickled down to salons or if they're still inadvertently misleading customers. ABC's Elizabeth Leamy used a hidden camera to find out. Hello. We took a hidden camera to 16 certified Brazilian blowout salons. I came to ask a couple questions about Brazilian blowout. And not one mentioned any safety concerns, despite the fact the original product has been banned in three countries abroad and investigated by five government agencies here at home. It's very safe. There's no way that you... Huh or exposed to chemicals strong enough to be harmful. Twelve of the salons acknowledged Brazilian blowout contains a form of formaldehyde, but downplayed the amount. That was a little bit. Like really low percentage. But when the Food and Drug Administration tested samples of Brazilian blowout, it found the product contained 8 to 10 percent liquid formaldehyde. And when the Occupational Safety and Health Administration tested the formaldehyde fumes emitted by the product, some were five times the legal limit. Formaldehyde can cause eye, skin, and breathing irritation in the short term and cancer in the long term. And yet every year, millions of American women risk it, all in the hopes of getting smooth, sleek hair like this. I smoothed my hair with a flat iron, but in the past, women have told us they love Brazilian blowout. I can't believe my hair looks like this. I kind of feel like a million bucks. Salon workers risk more because they're exposed every day. OSHA requires any company that handles formaldehyde to conduct air pollution testing, but not one of the salons we visited said it does that. Some salons test the air and all this. Do you have to do that? I think this is basically turned out to be a really high. Actually, OSHA takes formaldehyde so seriously that if the fumes are over the legal limit, workers are required to wear respirators like this. This is very serious. We took our findings straight to the top to U.S. Labor Secretary Hilda Solis, whose department has hit 26 salons with fines of up to $17,000 each. We do this for a reason. We have laws in place because we want to protect people from harming themselves at work. And people that are coming in and being exposed to the product also shouldn't, shouldn't have to be exposed to something that's as dangerous as formaldehyde. Four of the 16 salons we visited said original Brazilian blowout doesn't contain any formaldehyde at all. Is there formaldehyde in the original or not? It's not in the original. It has no formaldehyde. And clearly, they were relying on the old labeling and literature the government considers misleading. But they say it doesn't have it. I can show it to you on a uh, bottle. Okay. Yeah. Oh, contains no formaldehyde. Just saying what I see, mm -hmm. what I read it in there. You know, if they lie to me, I lie to you. But I lie because I don't know. It is confusing. So here's some hair care advice from a cabinet secretary. If they're going to use any products with formaldehyde, I'd say don't do it. Brazilian Blowout told us we believe the new labeling changes we implemented last year have provided our stylists with even greater clarity and understanding regarding our products. Since last year, every bottle has had a bright sticker affixed to it, clearly stating that the treatment needs to be performed in a well-ventilated area. When used as directed, Brazilian Blowout poses no issue for the stylist or the consumer, they say. All right, good information, Elizabeth so Leamy. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.